Hello, good friends. Welcome to one more video in the channel Satsuki Lovers. And today we're gonna talk about the best and the best mix for the Azalea Satsuki. Yes, everyone knows is a uh, is uh, we always ask it yes for yourself and for some friend who is heavy Satsuki Azalea. And the question is, what is the best soil for Satsuki Azaleas today? And we're gonna talk on this video about it. Before that, I would like to ask you please to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with the friends who love the Satsuki Azaleas and the who love to care Satsuki Azaleas, yes? Like we know, we have a lot of mix and some, not a lot, but some of the soil. The more common soil is a Kanuma. We have 5 to 12 millimeter and 1 to 5 millimeter. And we have as well then pumice. Yes, is a washer drain, like a washer sand and we talk a little bit more drain in. And we have uh, something help us on the Satsuki Azaleas with your pot and uh, doing work to grow Satsuki Azaleas is the it's Phagnomonas to help it to drain it and to be to leave the soil more moist yes with a little bit more water for the, the tree survive and today we have all this kind of soil to growing Satsuki Azaleas on yes and uh, the people today send a message and uh, asking if it is possible to grow Satsuki Azaleas in the garden soil, the common soil, the black one, yes. And uh, of course you can, you can grow Satsuki Azaleas in any soil. Satsuki will grow in any kind of the soil. We just uh, have to improve some vitamins, some nutrients for the soil and Satsuki will grow well. But of course, we know they thrive well on the Kanuma soil. This is that one they like more. And uh, to growing a healthy tree is best to, to follow the steps. Yes. And one more thing you have to think is about our place. You have to follow our play, our weather place, the, the, the weather, where do you live, if you have a lot of rain, if you don't have a lot of rain, if you have a lot of rain on the summer or if it's a dry summer, you have to consider all these kind of things. It's all count to grow in Satsuki Azaleas, yes? And the most and important thing is we ha you should have a soil where it's well draining, which can drain well your pot. Yes, on the pot, when you, you water your tree and the water come out and retain a little bit water. Not just you throw the wa you water your tree and the all water go away. It's not good. So we can you have to choose uh, a soil where, you where they can retain a little bit water for the Satsuki Azalea because if you forget to water your tree one or two days and the soil will be dry and uh, don't will go will be good for your tree. Today I have here for you this Kanuma soil is a Japanese famous one in some countries yes I, I know now that um, in Brazil it's very difficult to, farm, to find this Kanuma soil and uh, they have in some place but it's very difficult to find there and have another contest as well another place it's not possible to, to buy or find it easily but here in Europe and especially in Belgium I just buy this kind of the soil on internet from Germany, Netherlands, Italy and they send it to me here in Belgium and let's continue with the video and talk about the soil to mix the best mix. Some people like it to say at the pumice, the, the pumice one, 
with Canona soil is the best mix for the our trees. The promise when you use the promise with Canona soil will just help for the canuma don't be too hard on the summer. If you have a summer, is a dry summer and a very hot summer and not have some rains on the step, uh, some step the days, the, the days on the, the summer time. So this promise here mixed with canuma soil will help you with that. So, and but he in Belgium, that's the point. He in Belgium in summer is hot, but we have some rain on the summer as well. He in Belgium is like uh, I can I can see I think I don't know, but uh, yes I can see it. But um, the the weather he in Belgium is like like this more or less the same like in England. In England, we have a sun and rain, sun and rain all the time. So I think that's the kind of the, the weather here as well. I mean here in Belgium for, I think, over two years now, yes. And um, I know here, even the summer is hot, but it's not too hot for like Portugal, like uh, Italy, some place. And it's still in the, in the, in the summer time, we have some rain here. And so that's why we use he in Belgium. I like to use he the weather in Belgium. The canuma soil with this sphagnum moss. This sphagnum moss, this one here I have is the the dry one. And the before I use it, I I throw some water in to hydrate before some some minutes or some hours before. I started to report or to to use it on my on my satsuk trees, and everyone knows that this kind of the soil is the best for satsuki azaleas. Yes, but what is the best mix? The best mix is the you have to calculate. You have to fit it for your weather where you live. So you have to think, and if you have some rain on the summer. You can use canuma and sphagnum moss will help for the tree be more moist and retain more water on the on the soil and the pot for the tree. In Italy, they the people there I had talk with some friends and they use canuma soil mixed with uh, promise 50-50. And here I like to use 30%, yeah, 30 percent, yes, 30 percent of them. Canuma and 30% of sphagnum moss, this mix. And I get another question as well from one of the followers on the Instagram profile. And he's asking me if he, if he can grow uh, Satsuki Aziris on the Akadama. Yes, that's uh, yes, it's possible, of course, I think. I think it because the Akadama, the pH on the scale of Akadama, is more or less the same or the same with the the canuma soil. So that you can grow. I think you can just mix canuma soil with the the akadama and it will help as well. Like I said, like I told you, you can grow satsuki zeris in any soil. Of course the grow will be a little bit different. I have a satsuki zele planted in garden soil and it gets more and more, the, the tree need more and more time for growing and giving and giving new shoot on the tree. And I have another satsuki here is planted in canuma and this sphagnum oil, 30 30 percent, and the, this is growing well and going. The when they before the spring <laughs> arrive, we are now just a few days. Uh, to spring and you are still in winter and uh, my trees just started to grow new shoots beside of the flower buds and that's good I know the tree is healthy I know the tree is fine and uh, the best mix for me is a uh, canuma with sphagnum moss and I will try as well now I had to try I have some trees 
on with canola and promise mix 50 50 i had to try it and uh, yes i had to try no i had both the three yes and the three came with this kind of the mix of soil and it's growing well i will check it on the future in the next days now in spring and see how it's going but that's the thing that was the question you send me the people you are followers on the Ziga Satsuki Rob Instagram profile there I share also a lot of tips and these pictures of the trees and this year I will show you also my trees in full, in, in full bloom and I try to go as well on the nurseries around here and uh, do some videos with uh, Satsuki's in full bloom, bloom with a lot of flowers on tree to share with you here on this channel like i told you before on the last videos uh this channel is to share experience i'm not expert i'm a people who are i'm someone learning and uh, share with you my experience with uh, satsuki zeros to growing to make bonsai to pruning and this kind of the things all about satsuki zeros yes and I'm very happy to do it. I'm, I'm glad and uh, I love the Satsuki Azalez and uh, I'm here to do it with you all. So, is that the this video of today? Let's talk about the best soil. If you have another way to grow Satsuki Azalez and another kind of the soil, let me know, please. Just write here below on the comments and see your experience and tell and tell us your experience experience with the uh, growing satsuki zillas in another kind of another mix of the soil yes so today we have then satsuki the kanuma sorry the kanuma soil we have the pumice and then sphagnomus to do the mix yes that is the best you can use you can mix 30% canuma, 30% of the uh, sphagnomoys, or 50% canuma and 50% promise that works well. And the other three will be well draining and will help me for the canuma soil, don't you be compact on the in the summertime. The sphagnomoys, it helps as well to not leave the canuma be very compact and they don't stop to drain the soil on the Satsuki Azalea, right? I have some videos here on the channel. If you like it to know how I do the cuts of Satsuki Azalea, I will write, uh, leave the cut up here somewhere so you can see this video. I have another video as well. I bought a, a Satsuki Azalea, it's Kane Seek. I will leave the cut up here as well for you to see. And uh, thank you for you being at the end of this video. Thank you for you are here and thank you for your time and see you on the next video. Bye!